you want to change the technology table in NC code at the control panel which looks like this so this button is programming so hit the button select uh, the program you want to change I mean the, you just highlight it now you go to editor this program has two sub programs so we changing the sub programs so sell, uh, highlight the first one go to editor and here there are the technology technology tables there are there ones second there are a couple of them so you have to make sure you change all of them so I do search replace now search for so keep there those signs and basically you type whatever is here so it's 28 25 28 25 or if you don't want to do it in this way you can by pressing the shift on the keyboard and the arrow you can highlight it uh, highlight the, the number with the signs in the beginning and at the end so I highlight it now I hit ctrl C go to here search replace and now ctrl B the same at the other row ctrl B so and now the thickness was for 80 tau thick the wall thickness okay so let me say I want to change it for 16 gauge which is the thickness 60 tau so basically I just change the number 8 for number 6 and I go okay okay so what happened is that it changed here but here stays the what, what was there before and I don't want to change like um, every every single so I want to change all of them at one shot so I just go with this button continue searching replacing so pressing pressing or you can just press it and hold now an additional search string couldn't be found which means that all of all of these numbers has been already changed so I go ok save exit the same you have to do at the other sub for sub program if the program contains couple of them or for example 10 you have to change it at all of them so basically i do the same highlight the sub program editor search and replace whatever we entered there before it stays there so you don't need to enter those number again so now it's quite simple you can just okay continue searching replacing an additional scene trick couldn't be found so it means that all of them has been changed already okay save and you can just make sure that it there is the number which you want okay go exit and that's it as you can see the program has been modified so it means that um, we change it and now basically you go back to program overview and back to your main screen okay that's it okay guys now i want to show you how to change the laser technology tables at the tube laser cutting machine so basically you go to programming you choose the driver of the machine which is here highlight the program you want to change and go to edit and here you hit the, the, this arrow it will give you some more options so go to search and replace and here is search for so in the NC code you found the laser technology tables they are over here you highlight it with your mouse and now press on the keyboard uh, Ctrl C place the cursor here go Ctrl B and replace with go control v okay and now 
Uh, okay, so let's say this is the ST. It means steel 006. That's the thickness of the uh, of the material. The I and A. It's like inch America. O. That's the or oh, this zero. It means Trump standard. The O2. It's cutting gas. S. It means standard. The zero, it means like that the straight cut, sometimes you can be a B with the bevel, so it means that the laser cutting head can um, like beveling. And this, the 30, that's your laser cutting head. And T, it means tube. So as you see this, uh, the technology they are for steel, 16 gauge. So let's say you want to change it for 18 gauge. So basically, only what you have to do is change this number from 6 to 8. So before it was uh, the thickness of the wall 60 tau, and now the thickness of the wall is uh, 80 tau. Okay, and here, once you hit the replace all, it change all the technology tables in the NC code. Okay. So usually go with the replace all because uh, it's just in order to don't miss any other row which contains uh, which contains the technology tables. Okay, and now save and close. Okay, and that's it. Your program has been changed. So it was pretty easy, right? Okay guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you like it and it was useful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please write them below this video into the comment section. And see you later. Take care.